That's where the troublemakers are. They're going to be in the back of the room on the right. So any dealer listening to this broadcast, think about your last sales meeting. If, if, if it was a square row of chairs, the troublemakers always sit in the back right-hand corner. So sure Now I'm going to be thinking back, but go ahead. Yeah. So all, sure enough, I'm doing this meeting, and there's three used car salesmen in the back of the room. Uh, by the way, most troublemakers work for the pre-owned department. So anyway, <laughs> the troublemakers are sitting back there. They got their arms crossed. They got they're wearing baseball hats, which I'm I'm the only person allowed to wear a baseball hat in the dealership. Okay, they're wearing baseball hats and sunglasses. They're in the back of the room, baseball hats and sunglasses. Got their chairs up against the wall, and everything I say, um, they're making a remark. I can hear the remarks in the back of the room. Fat ball head or some bitch. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm hearing, I'm, I'm hearing these remarks coming from the back of the room. This used car set. So finally, I, one of them stood up, raised his hat, and said, took off his sunglasses. He said, "Mr. Ziegler, I've been a professional salesperson for 25 years, and I need to be able to qualify these people so I know whether or not I'm wasting my time." Mm. I said, whoa, let me shut you down a second there, partner. I said, first of all, I'm just detecting a lot of disrespect in the back of the room. Now, I can't fire you, but if I recommend you be fired, you will be. And we will give you a bad reference. But I'm going to tell you what. I know you've been a professional salesman for 25 years, and sales is a respectable situation. Nothing wrong with the profession of being a professional salesman. But I'm a manager and I did accept the, the challenge. And and I'm 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 pleased that you've been stuck at the entry level of your profession for a quarter of a century. <laughs> but but I am a manager and I will not tolerate any disrespect from the back of the room. And I'm gonna tell you what else. I am a manager. And as far as you referring to a customer as a waste of your time, they are the only reason we exist. And if I ever hear you ever refer to a customer as a waste of your time, we will free up your future almost immediately. That 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 will not happen. They are the only reason we're here, and we will wring them out like dish rags until they prove to us they cannot buy a car. And I will speak to every one of them before they leave, and you will not qualify them to drop them. And you will not turn them over to a green pea. Have I made myself clear, or do I need to further explain it? This has been Jeff Stearns, Connected Through Cars.